welcome back to another educational bird video to teach you how to care better for your bird. <laughs> I've done it. I've discovered the secret to getting your birds to stop pooping on you. So yes, it's possible to potty train your birds. Keep in mind, not every single bird is going to be able to be potty trained and some are actually just better at it than others. I have this theory that female birds just naturally know to never poop on you. That just might be my experience. But Mango and Telia absolutely never had to train them and they just always, when they needed to poop, they just flew off and pooped like somewhere else that wasn't on me. Now me personally, um, I don't care if they poop as long as it's not on my hair or on my clothes because then I'm going to have to awkwardly walk out with the stain and I really hate it. So like I said, Mango kind of, I never had to potty train her. She always got off of me or gave me a big warning to like move her away when she was about to poop. And most birds do give you a warning, like kind of like crouch, like, like squat. And that's how you know they're about to poop. Some birds don't like this one. Kiwi is a little pooping machine. He will not give you any warning. He will poop wherever he wants. Normally birds poop every 10 minutes. Kiwi will poop literally every like two seconds. Like he's a little pooping machine. Are we gonna go somewhere? All right, bye. This is why I wanted to test out a theory. Now, I've heard birds can be kind of potty trained by moving them away every 10 minutes, kind of like, you know, teaching them like, okay, like, cause it's about every 10 to 15 minutes that a bird does poop. See, I don't find this to be entirely true. I find that you need to know your own bird's kind of like pooping frequency. For example, mango will poop every will poop every like what like 20 minutes like she's not like that big on like pooping every once in a while and kiwi will just expel every literal two minutes hi yes you do moving them every 10 minutes was gonna be a little hard for kiwi because he did it so often so i needed to think of a way to teach him hey don't poop on me like anywhere but me so normally i chill on the couch and when i'm sitting on the couch he comes and sits on me, he'll come and like give me kisses, bite my teeth, and then he'll just poop on my shoulder. When I get up, I have to change my shirt and it sucks because sometimes I'm ready to go out and I have to just put the shirt in the washing machine even though I just washed it. But I was successful with what I did. And now I think nine out of 10 times, he himself, when he feels like he needs to pee, will get off me, sorry, poop, will get off me and he will go poop off to like the floor which is so much easier to clean like you just get like a paper towel that's it like just wipe it so i have saved myself a lot of shirts using this method i will also be making a video about um how to clean birds poop but for now let's just get into the video and teach you about how to train your bird to stop pooping on you so I start off by letting him bite my teeth because that's his favorite thing and every once in a while I'll pick him up and put him at the edge of the couch and give a command with a signal. I'm pointing down and telling him to poop. Right now he has no idea what I'm saying. Keep persisting every once in a while and keep putting them there and doing the same signal and the same command of poop. If they still don't get it, it's okay, bring them back to you. Just keep being persistent about this. It takes time for them to understand. Some learn faster than others. Even if they don't have any idea what you're saying or they're not doing what you're telling them to do, make sure to either way applaud them or reward them in any way so that it encourages progress. So after some time, you should be seeing a bit of progress, which is gonna look like this. After I kept telling him to poop, he actually listened. He waited for a moment, kind of processing it, as you can see his face, and then he proceeded to make a poop. And of course, I rewarded him. I was very proud of him. And his reward for him particularly was biting my teeth. Now, the reward is going to differ for each bird owner, as my bird just doesn't like treats, so I gave him what he most always persists for, which are my teeth. Now, I keep training him. I keep doing the same thing. Although, in this video, you're just going to watch him walk away from me because he's kind of tired of me telling him the same thing. Make sure to give your bird breaks in between training, and this doesn't just happen in one day. For me, it took about a week or two to actually get him to do this continuously. 
So I had to record this on a separate day because I couldn't get it in the day I wanted, but you can see here he walked off and actually pooped without me having to tell him to do so. You can take this a step further after you've done that process and actually put them on their cage or their tree and continue to do the same signal so that they actually fly to their tree and poop instead of on the floor, on the couch, and they just do it like within their own area. Here you're going to see that he needed to poop, so he actually left me, went to his tree, and he made his poop. So we're progressing really far, but of course this takes patience and time. So I hope this video helped. I hope you guys are able to apply it and be successful because if you can potty train your bird, man, it's so much better than them pooping on you particularly. And it just feels kind of nice. They're like, oh, you know what? I like you enough to not poop on you. So make sure to check out our social media links. They're down below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe. If you want to see more videos in the future of us, we try and post every single week for a new educational video. If you have any questions, any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. I try to get back to everybody and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.